Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at short division, which is also referred to as the bus stop method. For this video, we're only going to be looking at specific examples where we don't have any remainders. If you'd like to check out any other videos that are relevant to this topic, then I've put some links in the description and a card in the top corner of this video. So feel free to check them out. So for this first example, we've got 288 divided by 3. So I'm going to set up my lines like this. I've got 288 and then 3 on the outside. So to begin with, we want to see how many times does 3 fit into 2? Well, it doesn't. It fits in 0 times, so I'm going to put that here. And then this 2, I'm then going to carry over to this next digit and put it in front. So I've moved it over to the 8, so now we've got 28. Well, 3 will fit into 28 9 times, because 9 times 3 is actually 27. If I take that away from the 28, that's going to leave me with the remainder of 1, which then I carry over to my next digit. So now we've got 18. We want to see how many times does 3 fit into 18. Well, 3 will fit into 18 exactly 6 times, leaving us with no remainder. So our answer to 288 divided by 3 is actually 96. OK, using the same method for this next question, we've got 315 divided by 5. So to begin with, I want to see how many times does 5 fit into 3? Well, it doesn't. It fits in 0 times. So I could put that above, just like the question before. But for any answer, when we have 0 as our first digit, we don't really need to write it. We can just carry that 3 over onto the next digit. So I've now got 31. So now I want to see how many times does 5 fit into 31? Well, that'll fit in 6 times, because 6 times 5 is 30, and that leaves us with the remainder of 1. So I then carry over that remainder of 1 onto the final digit. So now we want to see how many times does 5 fit into 15? Well, that'll go 3 times exactly. So our answer here to 315 divided by 5 would simply be 63. OK, we've got some more questions to try now. Feel free to pause the video here and have a go at these. And we'll go through the solutions in just a few moments. OK, for this first question, we've got 472, which we're dividing by 4. So for how many times will 4 fit into 4? Well, that'll fit once exactly with no remainder. So because there's no remainder, I can move straight over to the next digit. So now I want to see how many times does 4 fit into 7? Well, that'll also fit once because 1 times 4 is 4, leaving us with the remainder of 3. So I bring that over to the next digit. So I've now got 32. How many times will 4 fit into 32? Well, that'll go 8 times because 8 times 4 is 32 exactly. So that's our final answer. So we've got 118. Right, moving on, we've got 765, which we're dividing by 5. So but to begin with, we want to see how many times does 5 fit into 7? Well, that'll go once, because 5 times 1 is 5, leaving us with a remainder of 2. So I carry that over. We now have got to do 5s into 26. Well, that'll go 5 times, because 5 times 5 is 25, and that leaves us with the remainder of 1. And then finally, we've got 5s into 15, go 3 times exactly, because 5 times 3 is 15. So our answer to this one would be 153. OK, so now we've got 968, which we're dividing by 8. So how many times does 8 fit into 9? Well, that'll fit once, because 8 times 1 is 8, leaving us with the remainder of 1. So I carry that over to the next digit. We now want to do 8 into 16. Well, that'll go twice because 8 times 2 is 16 exactly, leaving us with no remainder. So we can move straight over to the next digit. And then 8 will fit into 8 exactly one time. So our answer to 968 divided by 8 is 121. And for this question, we've got 1792 divided by 7. So first of all, we we'll to see how many times does 7 fit into 1? Well, it doesn't, so that's 0. So again, we could write a 0 above it, but because that's our first digit, we're just going to move it over. So the 1's going to move over to the next digit. We've now got 7s into 17. Well, that'll go twice, because 7 times 2 is 14, leaving us with the remainder of 3. So now we want to see how many times does 7 fit into 39? 
Well, that'll fit in five times because seven times five is 35. And that leaves us with the remainder of four. So carrying that four over, I've now got seven into 42. Seven will fit into 42 six times exactly. So our final answer to this question here would be 256. So well done if you followed along with those. We're now going to check out our final few questions. Again, feel free to pause the video here if you want to have a go at these first, and we'll go through the solutions in just a few moments. Okay, for this first question, we've got 4,972 divided by 11. So first of all, we want to see how many times does 11 fit into 4? Well, it doesn't, so I'm going to carry that 4 over to the next digit. Again, I could put a 0 at the beginning of my answer, but because that's the first digit, we don't need to. So now I want to see how many times does 11 fit into 49? Well, that will go in 4 times, because 11 times 4 is 44, which leaves us with a remainder of 5. So we're going to carry that over to the next digit. We then want to see how many times does 11 fit into 57? Well, that'll go 5 times, because 11 times 5 is 55, leaving us with a remainder of 2. We've then got how many times does 11 fit into 22? Well, that'll go 2 times exactly. So our final answer to this question would be 452. OK, for this next question, we've got 8,712 divided by 12. So to begin with, we want to see how many times does 12 fit into 8? Well, it doesn't, so we're just going to carry that 8 over to the next digit. So now we want to see how many times does 12 fit into 87? Well, that'll fit in 7 times. Because 12 times 7 is 84, which is going to leave us with the remainder of 3. So I carry that 3 over. We then want to see how many times does 12 fit into 31? Well, that'll fit in twice because 12 times 2 is 24, which leaves us with a remainder of 7. So that 7 is going to go in front of the 2. Then finally, we want to see how many times does 12 fit into 72? Well, that'll fit in 6 times exactly because 12 times 6 is 72. So our answer to this one would be 726. And for our final question today, we've got 8,040 divided by 15. So sometimes we may have questions where we're dividing by a number where we haven't got its multiples fully memorised. So what we can do to help us in a question just like this is write down the first few multiples of the number we're dividing by. So for 15, we're going to have 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, That'll be enough for now. We can add some later if we need them. So to begin with, we want to see how many times does 15 fit into 8? Well, it doesn't. So that's 0. That'll be the first digit. So we don't need to write it, but we do need to carry that 8 over to the next digit. So now we want to see how many times does 15 fit into 80? So we can see from the multiples we've just written that 5 times 15 is 75. So 15s will fit into 80 five times. Because 15 times 5 is 75, that's going to leave us with a remainder of 5. We now want to see how many times does 15 fit into 54? Well, that'll fit in 3 times, because 15 multiplied by 3 is 45, which is going to leave us with a remainder of 9. So now I want to see how many times does 15 fit into 90? If we look at the list on the left, we went to our first 5 multiples, and our fifth multiple of 15 was 75. So if I add another 15 onto that, our sixth multiple is actually 90 itself. So 15 will fit into 90 six times exactly. So our answer to 8,040 divided by 15 is just 536. So well done if you followed along with those questions. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are at all any topics that you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know down in the comments and I'll try to make some videos on those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.